according to the Bible, we're, we go from faith to faith and from glory to glory. And the Lord spoke to me. And he said, Jacqueline, I, 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 I've positioned my people in a place where I don't want to just allow you to have a moment of victories or a moment of a victory, but I want to give you a marathon of victories. I want that every time you look up, every time you turn around, you not only see victories, but every victory is doubled. Can you just begin to declare that every victory shall be doubled? That ain't the word that God had for me to release, but I know that's for somebody. Just begin to declare that every victory shall be doubled. Yes, thank you so much for coming in. And so I just want to take my time and really, really speak this over you today. Um, again, God just wouldn't let it let me go. And I know it's for somebody who's listening right now. For there's many of you, God has shifted you. He shifted you to a place where he says, I don't want to just make you priority. I want to make you the chosen. I'm going to say that again. He has shifted you to a place where he doesn't just want to make you priority, but he wants to make you the chosen. Anybody can be priority. A lot of people can be priority, but not everybody can be chosen for the position. When you think about David, David's brothers, and when Samuel was on assignment to anoint the next king, David's brothers were priority, but David was chosen. I don't know who I'm talking to right now on today, but God has shifted you into a position where everywhere, every important place that your name is made mentioned of, you would not just be considered, but you would be chosen. He's taking you from considered to chosen. Somebody ought to just begin to release that and type that on the screen. I'm going from considered to chosen. Every important place where your name is being made mentioned of, God is shifting you from being priority, shifting you from being considered to being the chosen. I declare in the name of Jesus that this thing, this position, this next opportunity, this next door, this next gate that God has with your name on it. Nothing and nobody can take it away from you. I don't care what the enemy says and everybody that are in high places that wants to speak against what God is doing in your life. I come to tell you today that God is bringing them down. He's bringing them down in your favor. He's bringing them down in your favor. For this is a season and a time where the Lord God Almighty is speaking for you. Many of you, you may find yourself in a place where it seems like you... You say, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to pray. God said, don't worry because I'm about to speak for you. Don't you worry because I am about to, my favor is about to speak for you. Where you don't have words, my favor will speak loudly. Where you don't have words, my grace will speak loudly for you. It doesn't matter what you couldn't get before. God says you are now qualified for what he has positioned you for. I declare that nothing can strip this away from you. Can you just begin to open up your mouth and begin to shout, I receive it. Come on, just begin to shout and I receive it. For this is your time where you will witness God speak on your behalf, even the places that you don't even know God is for you. God is speaking for you. And guess what? Everything that was against you shall be brought down by the fire of God. I declare that your name is being made greater. Your name is being made greater in the name of Jesus. But God, God I feel that there is somebody for they will experience these victories. They will smile again. Thank you for going into places that we don't even know you're at. Thank you, God, for interceding for us. Thank you, God, for your favor, for your blood, for your grace, for your mighty wonders. So good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday morning, and I'm about to now, ladies, unit, 
down if I can. It's just a lot going on right now with these weeds. So I just washed this hair and now I'm about to actually install it. So yeah, um, I decided to do this type of video today because for the ones that do know, work itself stresses me out. Um, just the thought of just the thought of having to go back to work stresses me out. So I'm trying to try something different, something new. Um, resetting for tomorrow, pretty much. Uh, getting my mind together. Life itself, you know, it's not easy at all. Trying to deal with these people that I deal with every every single day. Um, as you saw, I got up this morning. I prayed. That's something I haven't done in a long, long time, and I'm really ashamed to say that. But um, I'm trying to get back on. I'm trying to get back to the old me. The old me did not do a lot of the things that I do now. So. It's like, I'm trying. So right now, y'all, I'm using the Wonder Lace Bun. I got this from my cousin. Um, She thought it was uh, edge control. <laughs> like, got to be glue or something like that. But it's really for, like, your lace. And it's really, like, slimy. Like, I don't know if I want to continue to use it. But we're going to try it. Try something different. But yeah, so, like, I'm just trying to get my life back right on track with God. And, you know, like, just stop putting my faith in man and putting my faith back into him. Stop running to man about my problems and just run to who I know, God. You know, the, the one I used to always go to, not man. You can't believe man over God anyway so it's just like you know it's a little situation and I'm trying this is getting really messy y'all I don't I don't suggest this glue like look at it I'm holding it it's really like tacky like oh god it's really tacky but we're gonna use it today okay I'm just gonna see how it goes I'm gonna like it'll work though um one of the things I do want to say about myself is or change about myself is stop letting people get to me or stop letting let me just talk about work because work is really the main issue right now um I prayed to God and I told him that I was not happy. I'm not, I'm not, like I'm stressed. I, I pray for, I want to be happy. Um, I'm happy, but when it comes to work, it drains me, if that makes sense. So, um, that's one of the things that I am praying for. Um, I want to change. I just don't want to get up. Well, people just, I don't know. Just, it's just, it's a lot to deal with when you're in the army as a female like that. Most people like it to each his own, but me personally, I'm ready. I think I done served my time and I'm just ready to get out. But now that it's time for me to get out, it's like they're trying to make my life more harder, you know? So I'm just trying to take it step by step, day by day, and see how this plays out because me personally, I'm, I'm ready to start my life over again. And I told and I talked to God also about how I am a little scared to know you know go out into the world again because you're pretty much starting over and what i'm trying to do and how i'm trying to transition if that, if that makes sense the so army is not let me say my command team isn't really like helping me if that makes sense so it's like i'm trying to i know what i want to do but i have to wait on them if that makes sense and sometimes they don't care because it's like well you're still part of us in the army so you're going to still do the when they know i'm not going to be in the army after five months or so so just trying to set my set the tone for um honestly for next week for work because it's not easy y'all i know it's easier said than done but dealing with these people it's, it's a whole different breed it's, it's it really is and i'm not dramatic not really i'm really not so for me to be saying this right now it's true but it, it's i'm really stressed you know and <sighs> It's just, I just want to start this week off, right? I don't want to go into this week with problems with these people. They always find something to talk about, like an issue. Like, literally, leave me alone. Also, y'all, y'all know the weapon thing with me. I don't feel comfortable being around a weapon at this moment in my life because of what happened previously. So, I mean, I know I'm in the army, but I can't help what happened to me, you know? So, but what I went through, so we got the range coming up, like, next week. This week or next week. And I'm not ready for that, and I'm not doing it. So, if they got to do whatever they got to do to get me out I'm I'm with it I'm really with it it's just they don't understand people at times and I just want to start off fresh this week positive and you know on the right clean slate so today I was like why not get up and actually you know set the tone for the week that makes sense because y'all it's not easy dealing with this my homegirl Ari she deals with the same thing if not worse like we feel the we feel the exact same way um when it comes to the army TMI TMI but I also prayed about like God revealing things to me like if this person is for me like if this guy that I'm talking to currently is for 
for me. Like, I need him to reveal it to me. I need him to show me. I need him to give me a sign. Like, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to go through the same crap I've been through previously with relationships that did not work at all. So it's like, God, I'm, I'm tired. I told him I'm tired, okay? <laughs> I'm tired. I, I want him to reveal whatever he needs to give me an answer and we go from that. But I, I need him in my daily life like i haven't been i haven't been adding him into my my daily life my life in general at all i always go to man or go to someone else to say hey what about this what do you think can you think i'm gonna do this you think it's gonna work and go off what they say not really go off what he says or how he what he knows you know pray to him about the situation so um yeah i'm just gonna relax today unwind and just focus on what really matters which is the bigger picture me my career my life outside the army also my relationship with god also i'm not really trying to focus on a relationship but if it comes and he, if god sent the man for me and that this is and this is him this guy that i'm currently talking to if this is him well it is what it is because sometimes god send you somebody when you're going through something when you're not level-headed when you're just down and out you feel like there is no other way around it and god sends you someone now this one i don't know god sent him for me he's a great guy i will say that but it's just like you, you're too great for me what is it and maybe it could be from god i just don't know y'all and i'm like i'm not gonna cry because i'm just tired of going through literally the same same old same old if that makes sense i was crying a little earlier so if y'all saw something in my eye that was some mm -hmm. But anyways, um, I just want that relation. Like anybody I do have a relationship with, that's in the guy. I want him to also have a relationship with God. I want him to know God for himself. Like if he find himself in a situation, he know how to go and pray to God. Like we can go and pray to God. Like you know, it's that foundation. So it's just like got a lot to deal with. So dealing with somebody that is not for me at this moment is just not it. I don't feel that he's not for me, but you know, I still want that okay from from God. So a lot of stuff I prayed about today, even asking him to to in my mind like to get me back to the old me but actually a better me so i just wanted to come and talk to y'all a little bit about that but i'm about to finish doing my hair if y'all want to do like a real video of me doing my hair just alone i could do that too but my camera gonna die so i gotta keep it going so i'm gonna talk to y'all a little later on today all right y'all so i'm about to cook dinner i'm gonna have shrimp and rice today fried shrimp and rice with some buffalo sauce on there and yeah y'all see these two nails they will not come off like i'm trying to let my nails breathe for like a week or two and then go back and get them done but y'all yeah so i just washed these and now i'm about to add some seasoning to them and continue cooking So I just seasoned the shrimp and now I'm about to, did I tell you what I was making? No. So I'm making fried shrimp. What is it called? Shrimp fried rice. No. <laughs> Honey. No, for real y'all. Y'all listen. I really forgot what it was called, but it's really good. I just show y'all the steps and yeah, try to fast forward just because I feel like it's going to take a long time. So yeah. <laughs>
tell y'all, so now the food is actually done. Only thing I'm missing is the chopped up green onions. But this is what it's looking like. It looks so good. So this is honey mouth shrimp, if you want to call it that. But it's really good, y'all. I always make this. So this is my dinner for today. So like a little curl in my hair just a little bump to it nothing major but um i'm about to start editing this vlog also looking i need to check out how many how many days i actually have for my icloud is being hacked what no no wait a minute so this is my setting up for tomorrow for the week uh, resetting i got my clothes laid out my ocps and my pts i got my shoes underneath so everything is clean and washed I cleaned up this weekend. My mind is, well, I'm trying to set my mind where it needs to be. And that's not on what they got going on, what they gonna say and all that. Mm, 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 mm. We don't care, we don't care. We care, but we, no, we don't care. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't care. So this is me preparing for the week. Um, I'm gonna stop the vlog here because I have, I'm ready to just be alone. I'm tired of vlog. I just need to edit this anyways and get it edited by tonight. And it's already like five, oh, we early. I'm sorry. What, I, what did I say? Five? It's 2.34, so I have enough time. Just sit down and edit and chill and watch a movie, call home, see what's going on with my child. You know, all that good stuff. So, hopefully y'all like this little vlog. If y'all did, give this video a thumbs up. You know, support your girl. We are on our way to becoming better. Um, wanting, I have to stop letting people get to me. Even the people at work, I have to stop letting them get to me. And also like, I'm just ready to start my new life. That's it. That's all I got to say. I'm ready to start my new life and be happy because this, what I'm doing right here with them, I'm no, not happy. I'm tired of telling them what I gotta do and that question what I'm doing. No, this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It just, what's up? We, we said we gonna let that go. Hopefully y'all this week, I'll come back to y'all talking about what they done did and said. If I did, if I do, you know why. Cause I, what I deal with. But yeah, y'all, hope y'all like this video. I'm about to edit this video. Um, Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next vlog, okay? Bye, y'all.